Hi, today I wanted to show you my Visual Basic application form for Excel, uh, designed especially for those who do engineering calculations. Information how to set up this form you can find clicking this button. You can send me a, a mail. I really advise you to use AutoHotKey free software because we need selection to stay in the same cell not jumping down when we press enter so I will mimic a typical engineering calculation and I will explain what's going on to use this form you need square cells this size because the form guesses how many um, how many cells we have to join let's say we have 113 kilonewtons when I press this button it will rewrite for form uh, cell format and it will join enough cells to accommodate this value let's say we have to multiply it by this distance. Also those buttons will guess how many digits I want to see. Probably in this case I want to see three digits. But also you can use those buttons. Now I will press this button. It does three things. It will calculate the equation it will guess the units but if the equation is pretty complex it will fail and in case if we have not enough cells joined it will join enough cells if we have millimeters in this case there is no automatic refresh so you have to press buttons. Obviously that's a wrong answer. Then we have to use this button. Let's say we have three brackets and now to get the result I will use my shortcut for auto hot key. It is Control and Shift and it will seek for red color. It will jump, click and jump back like that. Let's say we have bolts at some some distance. And then we can compare this value to other value. Of course it should be Q Newtons. I can press magic button to compare values, units, and if it's too small it will show me red color. If I have to write down some text with numbers I will use concatenate but in my form like that. There is a help showing up. Okay, obviously we have to use round here. Now how it's work. We can add cells, remove cells. The only problem with this form it's it how it works. There is no undo button so if you made this you have no way out, no way back. Sometimes you have values pointing at other values and it's pretty difficult to scroll up and down to find 
this value and try when you're trying to understand where it comes from so I use these buttons if the equation is quite big I can use brackets but it will not help calculating this value it will not work so you have to manually add those brackets here and you can remove those You can copy to buffer any of special symbols. You just press Ctrl V and here it comes. We have some predefined shortcuts. In this case, there is a small library of elements. Right? Also, we have um, info about reinforcement area, about um, anchoring, and you can copy and paste a calculation from other sheet or tab by clicking one of those point buttons. But in most cases, you can use a predefined template like this one something for deflection you can add sheet you can remove lines instead of doing this because that's quite takes quite a long time if you have title and footers this button will update footers according to the title and this button will update title according to the name you will have in this cells I use this button to clean the values. Also you can use clear but it will reset to default but I want to keep those settings as I want to. You can add dollar sign to any value here or remove because sometimes you want to copy a formula, just the formula, and it is not possible. That's why you need this button. Then you can copy it and paste, and if you need, you can remove those symbols. So I hope you like this form. Thank you for your attention.